is live. So we ask you please approach the podium, uh, tell us who you are and the business you represent. If you've got plans, you can lay them out at the table next to the podium. Um, at this point, we're going to ask Cindy Ritz to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Did you do it without me? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> All right, our first application tonight is DRB 2015-05, the application of 134 Partners at 134 North Wayne Avenue in Wayne for a freestanding sign. And we've been notified that the uh, applicant is not coming tonight. It will be continued to next month. Next is DRB 2015-11, the application of Domino's at 128 East West Lancaster Avenue in Wayne, zoned in the Wayne Business Overlay District for a wall sign. Hi, Greg. Hello, everyone. How are you? Great. I'm okay. Greg Feld from KC Sign Company here representing Domino's. All right, Greg. You want to just walk us through and show us what you brought in tonight? Sure. The, um, all the Domino's throughout the area, or throughout the country, I guess, are changing their, their logo somewhat. They're getting rid of the, the pizza part of their tagline, and it's, uh, they're playing up some other parts of the menu. So. That's changed the logo. They used to have the domino, which was a big square that had pizza in there with half of it was a domino and half had a pizza or whatever the wording was. So they've done away with that. Now they have a larger domino as part of their logo. And I think the, uh, the typeface has changed somewhat too. So this one, they just want to change out the, the logo that they have up on the facade now to the new domino's corporate logo. Um, as you can see, the total height of the sign is 22 inches. That's just the domino part. The lettering of the dominoes itself is just over 13 inches. Overall length is about uh, just over eight feet. So we have uh, what, f uh, about 15 square feet total for the new sign. Yeah. And then uh, they're proposing channel letters on a raceway, illuminated. The raceway will be yeah. painted the same color as the facade. It's kind of a gold, right. gold coppery mm -hmm. color. Okay. So they'll paint that to match. Great. Greg, when you take down the existing sign, you think there'll be much damage under there or not? It's hard to tell. Um, okay. When, whenever we do, we'll patch up any holes that are in there and then okay. paint it and match yeah. the color on there. Same with the raceway. I mean, that was kind of reskinned maybe a couple years ago. It was, so yeah. it looked pretty. It should good be in pretty I, good shape. When I saw it, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So your your biggest letter looks like it's about 13 and a half inches. The capital D. Yeah. The, the dot with the the I with the, the dot mm -hmm. on top. Yeah. You guys are all right with that. I am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it'll be fine. Okay. Greg, just do. Um, when you're out there, just double check, make sure the address is on the door. <clears throat> oh, okay. Okay, <clears throat> I'm not sure if it is, but it, it should be if it's not. The number. The, yeah, the address number. Yeah, I can't quite see in the photograph. I'll take a look, and if not, we can add that, okay. add that on there. All right. Um, what else, guys? Any other questions? It's, no, I don't have any questions. I mean, it's. No, you guys are right. Yeah. Okay, Greg, yeah. any questions for us? Uh, no. You're right. Okay. Want to take that, Lisa? <clears throat> Thanks. In the matter of uh, DRB-2015-11, I move that we approve the new proposed domino signages presented. Okay. Do we hear a second? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thanks, Thanks very much. much. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Next is DRB-2015-12, the application of Waltzing Matilda USA at 21 West Avenue in Wayne. Again, zoned in the Wayne Business Overlay District for four awnings. Good evening. Good evening. I'm Mike Balaceres. I'm the owner of Walter Matilda USA. Great. And I am proposing here, I don't know if you can see it so well, but basically uh, taking over the former competitive edge um, space mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. was going to use the same awning skeleton and just replace it with, uh, with new, fresh canvas. That's very nice. Thank you. Is this a new business? It, 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 it is. I've um, been waiting well, to find out what waltzing milk. I, I have people waiting for me to get back to them. I want to learn how to dance. I've never learned how to dance. I know. I'm, I'm, we need to teach us somebody, <laughs> huh? Get somebody to teach us it. Um, yeah, this but is I, your promotion this, opportunity. Yeah, I know. Move the mic up and let us know. <laughs> yeah. Is it a dance studio? No, actually, it's a leather company. I, I make um, uh, handmade hand leather items, bags, accessories, shoes, sandals, um, and then do silver work as well. So it's all handmade um, here in Pennsylvania. Wow. And, oh, and cool. or Maine. So you threw me for a curve. I thought for sure it was a dance studio. Yeah, you know? no, it's, um, yeah. it's actually uh, 
it's a it's a name taken from an old song, but it's a it, it's basically has to do with bags. So it's uh, it's all how awesome. We have That's nothing great. like that. Nothing yeah. like I'm I'm excited to be uh, to be here. So it'll so be it'll be your studio and your retail space. It's or? it's mostly the retail space. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm I'm going to be uh, I have work in, in Chess, or on Chestnut Street, Philadelphia. I do some of my manufacturing there uh, mm -hmm. for my jewelry. And then um, the sandals and shoes are all made up in Maine, up in, uh, up in Bangor, Maine. So oh, wow. took over an old Sperry shoe factory up there. Hmm. Pardon me? I, we took over an old Sperry shoe factory up there and, and oh, um, great. I'm making shoes up there and stuff. Yeah. That's wow, exciting. that's just very mm. cool. I'm, yeah. I'm psyched. It's going to be great. When do you think you'll be in? Well, I'm, I'm in there kind of arranging things now, but uh, hoping to have a soft opening next weekend and then will be open for, I mean, so really, can we come by? Yeah, yeah, I'm <laughs> open for business. I, people were in there today kind of oh. uh, working on, we got our UNO last week. So Are all your leather goods custom made yes. um, to order, all, or do you have? I do have some stock, but um, I do make a lot of, I, I prefer to make custom bags but and shoes and sandals, but I do uh, have a stock for uh, that's on display at the shop. Good. Very cool. Well, this is going to look great. great. Yeah, I'd right. definitely love to have you guys come by. Okay, so... You're going to uh, change out four awnings. It's yes. So the color scheme up there is that dark green, but it looks like you want to go black. Yes, just kind okay. of keep it plain black. I'm not sure. There's another space that's um, going on the corner. I don't know what color they're going to do. I thought Char it was the charcuterie. I, I think they were going green, if I remember right? right. Yeah, I yeah. think they were going to stick with the color. Yeah, I just figured it, it being an end cap too, just kind of keeping it. My my days. colors on all the uh, promotional materials I do are just black and white. It's just real. And you simple. have a big enough space that it looks really yeah. Yeah, I think it'll. I mean, I, I've. I really think it's gonna gonna look nice and really improve yeah, that little corner. Great. I think the black looks classic. Yeah, it goes Doesn't great it? with the roof. And Just mm -hmm. super so simple. Yeah. Really yeah. Cool. So Keith, sorry right, with the color scheme, your landlord. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So far, he's it seems to be. He's on uh, board. Yeah. He seems okay. to be sure, he is. All right. So your um. So right. have, your letter size on that is. Um, <clears throat> the letter size on the well, the company logo. So this letter size is eight inches by five inches. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's your max on, on the awnings is eight inches? It's basically eight inches height. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. That's very classy. Yeah. Isn't it? And your your material is canvas. Sumbrella? Yes. Okay. okay. And, and you awnings. have no other signage? Nothing on your door, no lighting or anything? No. You are subtle. <laughs> and again, uh, well you have your address on your awning. We have it. Number twenty one, so you're in good yes. shape there, so yeah. The the planners aren't blocking anything, right? You're going to leave the planners out there? They were there when I haven't done anything with okay. them. I'm, I'm hoping, they'll, for a I'm long hoping time. they'll put something in them. But uh, okay. it's, it's, yeah, it's basically between the, between the windows. Okay. They look good, too. All right, just make sure you're not blocking any mechanicals or anything like that that might be there. So. Okay. Yeah. What else, guys? Brian? You guys all right? No, I think it looks great. Nice presentation, too. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah. appreciate that. Okay. Any questions for us? No. Good shape? Good, yeah. Love to have you by. Okay, lots of luck. Right. Oh. Thank you very much. Okay. Cindy, want to tackle this one? Sure. Okay. Uh, do I have, oh, yeah. In the manner of DRB 2015 12, Walsing Matilda, USA, at 21 West Avenue in Wayne, I move that we accept the design for the awnings as presented. Okay. No other? Do we have any? No. Did I miss okay. something? Second. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I just hear okay. this whispering thing. Great. Really nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Appreciate it. Okay, next is DRB 2015-13, the application at Insomnia Cookies at 1084 East Lancaster Avenue in Rosemont for an addition to the freestanding sign. How you doing? Hi, how are you? Good. You make me nervous. I have a hard time sleeping anyway when I talk about insomnia. <laughs> well, you just need cookies. How do we overcome it? some good cookies. <laughs> do your cookies cure insomnia? Uh, no comment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They make it more pleasant. <laughs> um, we did have a, uh, a change after reviewing um, the structure of the sign. Okay. Well, you know, first off, why don't you tell us who you are? And Hi, I'm yep. Dave Martino from Martino Signs, and this is Maggie Noodleman from Insomnia Cookies. Great. Nice to have you here. Mm -hmm. We did review the structure of the sign, and it was a little questionable, so our engineer put an additional pole next to the existing pole. I do have new packets for you guys. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. 
Thanks. This is a So it's basically the same sign. It's a 42-inch diameter illuminated sign. It goes under the uh, Subway and Pizza Hut sign. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put a new pole there just for structural reasons. That sign's integrity is not, not too good. It's Should fine we be as, concerned about the other two? It's fine as it stands, but it, uh, we can't add anything to it. Okay. Right, that's a, a tough call. I'm going to ask if we can just get a kind of a judgment from Ray with the township. Uh, what is it you're asking me to? Well, I guess he's putting this additional pole. Uh, and actually, in your, your photos, it looks like here you're putting it not up against the existing pole, but kind of floating in the middle. I'm, sorry. Like I'm sorry, that's a old drawing. Okay. But it is, is as This is the correct one, right? That is the correct one, yes. This one, the one in the left here. Okay. So it's just right parallel. And then you turn to the next page, you'll see how it's bolted. So it's on a plate? Yes. And then is it attached to this other? No, it will be uh, its own independent sign. I mean, we're going to connect it so it looks like one big unit. Yeah. yeah. It will be painted the same color, same format, and it'll, it'll blend in so it won't stand out as a as a Band-Aid. I don't think it looks good. Using though. the existing footing? You're going to bolt new, into the existing? New footing. New footing, it looks oh. like. OK. Wow. So you're going to have a little gap in between, but not that very, much? Yeah, very slight. OK. So we'll, we'll look at that as one pole then, right? OK. All right. The, your, um, I think, unfortunately, your measurements on that cookie sign are going to be a little bit too big. Because on a pole sign, you're allowed 25 uh, square feet of area. And it looks like you're already at uh, about 21 square feet with the existing subway and Pizza Hut sign. Okay. So oh. you're really only allowed uh, four square feet. I mean, that's a two by two. I know. Mm, that's it's really. Small. I know. Yeah. Considering the uh, the amount of tenants in that building, I think uh, 25 is kind of. Well, that's what's code. That's that's the problem, you know. So. Um, if it was a shorter sign and no higher than eight feet, you could get 30 square feet of signage. Hmm. But a pole sign that's eight foot and above, you're allowed 25 feet. Since we're an feet. independent sign of that sign, technically, it's a new sign. Well, in, in that case, you, you can have two pole signs, but they have to be far away from each other. You can have two pole signs on a property, but I forget how much you know, feet they have to be apart. So can you well, recommend a possible solution for us? How do we solve this? I don't know. Yeah. I, should be, I, I, mean, I think to run a new new electric line to the other side of the parking lot, right? It's going to be astronomical. Right, right. Is this lit from within? Is, yes. Yeah. We're going to tap off the uh, existing pole signs yeah. electric. So, are you suggesting, and I, I should know this, but that if they came in at eight feet height next to and put it next to here, right under this, like same design, uh, uh, but at eight feet? No, 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 could, no, no. No, I'm just saying if if the original sign is is existing, oh, was no higher than eight feet. Oh, he'd be allowed up to 30 square feet of footage, but since he's higher than eight feet, you know, I, we didn't measure it, but we certainly know it's more than eight feet. Looking at it, mm -hmm. he's allowed 25 square feet too. So, yeah. Right there's eight, eight to 42, 40. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. you know it's it's up there. Yeah. But like I say, according to code, unfortunately you're just allowed at 25. And you're look if my calculations are right, you guys can figure it out. But it's 72 inches by four feet, I think. Mm -hmm. What's that? A little over 20. A little over 21. So you're, unfortunately you're getting squeezed a little, a little bit. I'm sorry. Pardon? It's, it's six by. It's 6.3.4. Yeah. So what can you do? It's a nice submission. It, it really I is. I know. It's it really terrific. is. What's your calculation on that, Brian? I didn't do it. Okay. I mean, it's it's around 19 feet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, our, you know, our problem I'm is sorry, if you I look at the, uh, the last two pages, Yeah. this, this place is virtually invisible. I know. Mm -hmm. They cannot. They're, they're, they're losing business every day. People call them up. Where are you? We can't find you. And if we put a little postage stamp up there, two by two sign, it's, 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 it's a waste of money. Nobody's going to see it. Um, I think the sign's classy and it's tactful. Oh, there's no doubt about it. Yeah. It, it, it's just not, it's just the, what 
we have the code. I mean, it is a, it's a unique it's a unique situation. I mean, it's not like. Mm -hmm. it's not well, like is there any way we can approve? I don't. I don't think so. I mean. I mean, I would approve the design. Oh, yeah, you'd have to. The yeah. design is great. I think it's appropriate. I think you're you're right. It's hard to see. I don't think you have any recourse. We don't. We can't approve something that's not code, code yeah. compliant. You have to go to. We would have to get a variance. You have to get a variance. Go to zoning. But is as that, far as design, or is, is no, we can approve it. We could approve, can you the, approve design. the design, and we'll we'll try and get right? the variance. Right, and then you try to get the variance yeah. from the zoning. Is that a, is that the right? Is that the right course of action? Yeah. Brian, it just, I'm sorry, where, what did you tabulate that existing? Um, you said about 19? About 19. And you say 25 square feet is? Max. Max. So that would leave you, you'd have six square feet right now if you went with what you have. And we can uh, recalculate it as instead of a 42 <coughs> inch by 42 inch square, can we calculate well, we are, it as a we, circle? We should calculate mm -hmm. it as a circle, it's which not, is. Well, it's, it's funny, that issue came up yesterday with Kevin, and uh, now it's, it's measured as a square. Circles really? are measured as square. Right. According to what? Kevin? Oh. Yeah. Huh. Circles measured as a square. Because you know Jim, I mean, I, I trust you, I believe you and everything, yeah. but you know how Jim would always, you know, look at things yeah. and take away all the white space and right. say, okay, right. that doesn't count against them, yeah. which I thought was yeah, kind that, of generous. It actually came up yesterday. That, yeah. Oh, that yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Unfortunately. Oh. How long I'm sorry. Is the variance process. I mean, if we approve, I, I think it looks great. I do. So yeah. I'm, I'm not sure. We and we'll recommend process? you get it. We'll recommend you we'll get it. You guys will give us a recommendation. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I would recommend it. I that think it improves the sign. I think it looks much yeah, better you with know that. What? It really does, and, and mm -hmm. I think it's really going to help these guys out. They really mm -hmm. need a sign there. I'd hate to see the township lose this business. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Have a vacant space there. I think that's, you know, mm -hmm. you know, unfortunately, We're with you. the law yeah. is the law, but sometimes we get it. I agree. So it, we would approve fits. the sign. We and would I approve think it's the um, straightforward. It is. Yeah. So you yeah. guys can give us an approval. Well, let me, and we'll, let me we'll see. Take it to are, permanent. Are, are you trying to mm -hmm. figure out a number there? Well, yeah, I, I, it would be about a twenty-four inch by twenty-four inch. Twenty-four by twenty-four. Yeah, I mean, and that'll keep you. And it considering it's a circle and it's less than twenty-four, I mean, that's it's, like this. Yeah, it's going to be like this big. It's, yeah. I mean, they're, they're not I mean, spend five you know, surprisingly, it's it's going to be smaller than that. That O? No. No, no, the shield. Oh, the shield. It'll be way smaller. Yeah. It'll be half that size. Well, or, it'll, or it'll be double the O. There's it'll a, be the size of a hubcap. Almost. No, no, it won't. Hubcap's Maybe. not 20. It'll be, see the O? The O is 12 inches. Yeah, so that's double that. Garbage can lid. Yeah, yeah. garbage can yeah, lid. I mean, like it. Nobody's going to um, see that. They're not going to be able to read it. Well, they'll see it. They won't be able to read it. I, I think you it, should. They won't, you know, yeah. be like, yeah. what is that? Unfortunately, that would be a waste of their money. I'd go for the variance and we'll recommend the variance would, I would, to be approved. Sure. So you guys yeah. will give us a passing rec and a recommendation to go for it? Sure. So when we go mm -hmm. in? Mm -hmm. I'm zoning, zoning will always ask them to come back. You can give them the design approval. Mm -hmm. Zoning will give them the variance and then tell them to come back. Everything goes to zoning, comes back to you guys. So okay. yeah, we're going to have to come our back so you can continue it. We don't want to wait it. three, four months to get this signed oh, I know. for these guys. Yeah. I mean, they're well, when's the next zoning? Day. How can you get on the zoning um, agenda? You would need to have your zoning application into us, I believe, by March 17th to get on for April. And then when's the April meeting? Off the top of my head, it's I don't third, know. It's a, it's the third, third so Thursday. It's, it's after our meeting. Yes. So that would mean you wouldn't come back to us until May. Yeah, I mean that's ridiculous. We're in the middle of March. Right. No, by I the time that's done, then we can they put up a temporary mock-up sign? We're talking the middle of the summer for the sign. You can put up a temporary 60-day sign. I don't know where you can put it. But. All right. Here's here's a deal. Flip to your next page, and there's already awning signs up, door signs up, window signs up, and there's been a banner up that we haven't pinched. So. Okay, it might not be on that page. We've let it go for more than 30 days. And you had a banner at 30 days when you opened, and we let that go for. I mean, the reason is nobody can see these people, and I, I understand your rules, but these people are here trying to make an honest living, just like everybody else. And, no. and we're I all get it. We're all trying to make an honest living. Yeah. Um, we our, understand. Our, we do understand. I understand. And we're trying to work with you. I know. Um, unfortunately, their dilemma is the landlord's not going to show any money out for a new sign or cut them any tenant space on that. So they're kind of 
you know, they're backed into a corner. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, where's the banner? I don't, maybe I'm not seeing it on the, uh, on my, on the packet. I see the awnings. Yeah, I don't see the And they're pretty the subtle, either. so you'd have to know, I mean, when All I drive right, by um, there, I just, I'm the, you're done? They had a banner up. Okay. It's been up on the railing. They take it down, they put it up, they hang it over the door, they take it down, they put it on the railing. Mm -hmm. We've, we haven't really said or done anything from the township down there. We've kind of left it go because we want them to do this. Okay. All right. And gotcha. that was just hadn't part seen of it. the deal. Yeah. I, I thought insomnia cookies was by order, phone order. That was the big claim to fame college kids. I mean, they're walking. Phone them and go. They do do that. They do have that option. But okay. I mean, it's a walk in store and they're, they're, they're looking for walk in business and people to drive by and see the sign come in and buy cookies. Without that, they're, they're relying on those phone in customers. And how many are there? Insomnia cookies. I know the one in Mania. There are 63. Oh. Wow. Seven in the Philadelphia area. Mm -hmm. Again, I don't know how much street frontage you have. You could put up another another ground sign, and you, you need at least uh, 150 feet between signs. I mean, you're going to spend a lot of money to, to go to zoning, so maybe that money would be Not better spent spend with your own. a lot of money on zoning, but we're going to have to run lines to that. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're talking about a two, three thousand dollar cost to run a line yeah. across the parking lot. Well, mm -hmm. unless you did something non-illuminated, it'll save you a lot of money. And you got a, a street pole out there; you probably can pick up some lighting off of that. You know. It, it sounds so, to me um, like even though it's even though two months is longer than what you want to do, it's the most expeditious way. If, if that's you get our recommendation, yeah. we'll apply for our variance by the seventeenth. And it's still yeah. going to be quicker than trying to create a whole new sign. And expense-wise, it's going to be a lot less expensive. Yeah. And like basically, we're just a rubber stamp after you go through zoning. We can okay. recommend it, mm -hmm. go through zoning, get it done, come back, and it's you know it's mm -hmm. done. Is this is this a logo, or is this something you guys drew up the okay. signage? So that's that's their that's, branded. That's logo. Their that brand. is their branded mm -hmm. logo. Yeah. Okay. So it has to be that. Okay. Mm -hmm. that, like that, I said, yeah. If you can take a good look at that logo, mm -hmm. anything smaller than that is going to be completely right. illegible. I mean, unless you just somehow mock something up and put it up there just to get a look at it. it can we? Uh, at the 24 inches. That's what you said, Ryan. About 24 yeah, inch I can, diameter. I can yeah. tell you that's yeah this big. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Versus but you know, you might you might mock something up, put it there, go. Okay, I'm surprised at how well we can see that from the road. Yeah. So I would approve it as that, and then you make the decision, because people are often surprised at how well a sign can be seen yeah. at a smaller size. When you're when you're on the ground thinking about, it, you think I've got to have something. I mean, now you're looking at something like this, right? Yeah. I mean, 42 yeah. inches is this. Yeah. Versus 24 this. is this. Yeah. It's true. No. It's true. But you might find it meets I mean, your need. I mean, you got a lot of people it's walking by than there. A it's smaller than what? A car wheel. Yeah, but car I'm saying you got a, yeah. you got a Plus ton of people inches. walking there. You got a traffic backed up at that intersection. Mm -hmm. You know, you'd be surprised probably you hang that thing up there. And I mean, I, I would at least mock it up before I, you I spend would, all the money to go to zoning. I would too, because you have other, you know, time. you have the awnings. People know you're there. Yeah. There is a call in business. It's probably a lot. Of, it's is it predominantly Villanova and Rosemont? And so our market is. I'm sorry. Can you use the mic, yeah. please? Oh, Thanks. Our market is mostly college students, right. um, so Villanova, Bryn Mawr, Haverford. Yeah. Um, but we would like to do more neighborhood business in this area. All right. So. So you'll give us a pass for a 24-inch sign mm -hmm. and a 42-inch sign. Well, it's got to fit. It's got to fit <coughs> the 25 square foot rule. I get roll. that, but if yeah. you pass us for design, that the design is okay, uh, and let us fight with zoning. Yeah. Well, I think it's gonna be a fight. I, 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 just, I just, think. Well, I mean, we can we can approve it as you yeah. submitted it because it's very tasteful and basically you have that recommendation yeah, to go to zoning. Mm -hmm. Or okay. if or if you you know you want to stick to twenty five foot max, you know, <laughs> put that baby up tomorrow. Yeah, I'll do the know. calculations and uh, yeah, at least test it out. I test the waters before you spend all that money with zoning. Okay. Mm -hmm. See how it looks. Yeah. It's a lot of cookies. I just want to make sure that you know. we don't have to come back through this process if we pass in zoning. No, we're saying we like it. <coughs> so that's why. But as Ray, well, Ray said, Ray said if, you have to come back. You will still have to come back. But yeah. But we're telling you we will we, we will reapprove this it design. Okay. And if if zoning gives you the larger sign, there. I guess you know. the gray areas. If we're approved, why will we have to come back? Yes. Yeah, you do. Yeah. It's just a it's yes. just a formality. Yes. Every yep. time zoning approves something, mm -hmm. they send them back. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Even if we're approved. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. So the uh, Thanks. just a couple things on the sign itself. It's an internally illuminated sign. That's correct. Okay. And you you know about the opaque background? 
So at nighttime, the only thing that should be visible insomnia, cookies, and your is that basically a moon? Or it's cookie, a cookie moon? Cookie moon. Yeah. Okay. No, we did not know about the opaque. And, and everything background. else should be black on the back. So it has to be blocked out. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So take a look. It's all in the code book there. Well, I mean, if it's if the sign is true to what you have here, it would that wouldn't be a problem because it's already blacked but, out, right? Yeah. But you're blacking out the purple, which is their color. Yeah, it's well, got to be that's, black. That's just the at nighttime. Drive through. It doesn't have to be black. Been pretty, it, it can, been consistent about that. It just can't. It's got to be opaque. Which is ends up being purple black. opaque. Yeah. Yeah. You won't see the purple. Yeah, we're not changing the color of your sign. You do purple, but it's got the film behind it so it doesn't show through at night. Okay. At night, we can see the rings and the moon and insomnia cookies, but it can't be backlit. It can't be illuminated. Subway and Pizza Hut have that same thing? Yep. Yeah. Yep. They should. Yeah. I mean, that's how they yeah. were approved also. Think. Yeah, they were all in for mm -hmm. approval. They so. came in for approval, and we told them the same yeah. thing. Okay. Yeah. And it, originally, the way you had it set up, it looked like it was potentially could swing, but the sign cannot swing. The I'm sign sure is why. fixed. It does it's not fixed. move. Yep. Good. Okay. All right. Right. I'm sorry. Can I ask you a quick question? If they decide they make a mock up uh, 24 inch diameter, which will meet the 25 square foot requirement, do they have to come back? No, you can approve the 24 inch. Yes. Anything other than that or anything goes to zoning would come back to you then. Okay. Okay. All right. So you're, you're clear on that then? Uh, yes. Okay. Are you sure it's well, of the measurements? Uh, I, I, I want to double check them. Brian did it. And, um, I mean, okay, let's do the measurements again. It's on, it's on you, Brian. If it's <laughs> Pi D. 3.1415 times. Well, so the existing is 3.4 times 6 equals 20.4. 20 20.4 20 minus 25 equals, so you got 4.6. I have, I have existing as 20 square foot. Okay. So you get 5 square feet. For insomnia? You have five square feet. It's 20 square feet, right? Instead the existing of four? sign's 20 square feet. You're saying you, it's 25. We can go to 25. 25 is a max. So you have five feet to Five square with. feet. Which would be uh, 30 inches in. Um, 30. 2.5 times 2.5. Yeah. Divided by pi. Yeah. Six no thirty thirty by thirty a thirty diameter thirty would be, diameter would be right. six and a quarter six six and a quarter square feet. That's too big. Yeah. Right. Because I don't have a square root thing on here. Wait, maybe wait, I do. Do I? No. I need pi. Oh. Well, we can we could figure it out and probably get that measurement to you an so accurate measurement. As a five, we'll call it a five square foot sign. Roughly five, which. If my math is right, it should be yeah, about 30 five. inches diameter. Yeah, what is that? Mm -hmm. Diameter. Just about there. All right, we'll, we'll figure this out. So, All right, is, do you have any questions for us? Any other questions? So we, you're going to approve a five-square-foot sign? and We're going to approve a sign that will fit no more than 25 square feet, which is we're okay. still working on that exact number. Okay. Okay. If you want over the size that we uh, tell you could have, you're gonna have to go to zoning. Okay. And then after zoning talks to you, you'll have to come back to us again. And that'll be in the May meeting, it looks like. Okay. All right. So, and you know about the opaque background. Okay. The pole's gonna be fairly close to new pole to the yes. other one. It'll be butt up as close as it can be yeah. without touching. Okay, it can't swing and all that stuff. So it's two and a quarter by two and a quarter, right? 2.25 times 2.25 is 5.06. That sound right? Yeah. So a two foot a two, two foot four by a two foot four diameter sign. Mm -hmm. Twenty eight inches. Twenty eight inches. Two. Okay. Two foot four inches is twenty eight. Okay. You're you're all right with that? 
Yep. 28 inch. Okay. 28 Anything inch bigger, sign. you have to go to zoning. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Does somebody, somebody want to make a motion? motion? Okay, hold tight. What do you think? Make a motion? <laughs> yeah. All right. In the manner of DRB 2015-13, Insomnia Cookies at 1084 East Lancaster Avenue in Rosemont, <coughs> Pennsylvania, I move that we accept the design as proposed and the sign, we can accept the sign at five square feet or 2.25 diameter. Uh, diameter. Um, it's to be, it's internally lit, but must be blocked out so that at night, only the words insomnia and the cookie and the rings show. The background is opaque. If you wish to have a larger sign, go to zoning, and we will see you again after your zoning approval, hopefully your zoning approval. But we do approve the design, but not the size. All right, do I hear a second on that? Second. Okay. That was like the worst okay. motion All in favor? done. Aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. You guys are all right? Yeah, thanks. Any other questions? No, that's okay. it. Okay. All right, thanks. Thanks, thanks a lot. Thank you. I have to work on my motion. It's very difficult. <laughs> that was a tough one. Thanks. All right. Next is DRB 2015-14, the application of Mainline Design Center at 209 East Lancaster Avenue in Wayne, zoned in the Wayne Business Overlay District for a wall sign, freestanding sign, and window signage. Hello there. Hi there. My name is Rick Rollins. I own Rick Rollins Signs and Murals. Actually, you guys want to take one of the handhelds? Jared. Good, Jared. How you doing? Okay. Let us know who you are, Jared. I'm Jared Felix. I'm going to be the owner of Mainline Design Center. Okay. You might as well get your 30-second commercial in, too. Tell us we're, about uh, it. We're going in at 211 East Lancaster Avenue, and we're offering all kinds of furniture, imports, antiques, uh, modern furniture. We're also doing oriental carpets from all over the world. And uh, we're going to offer interior design, and we're also going to have art by the pop artist John Stango. Okay, good. So you're local product, right? Yep. Yeah. I uh, grew up on Spring Mill Road in Villanova, and I went to Villanova. I went to Harrington High School, Thank you. and uh, I had a store on Pine Street called Bearcat and in Philadelphia, and I'm excited to be here. Good. Yeah. Happy to have you here. Okay. Thank you. All right. <coughs> Okay, so we got a lot going on with this application. Why don't we start with probably the easiest part, the pin mounted letters over the door. Uh, the, I'm sorry, what was that again, you? Yeah? We'll, we'll start, you can discuss the pin mounting over the door, right. pin mounted letters, and okay. let us know what you plan on doing there. Uh, right now, it has uh, the Tarani Brothers sign up there, uh, uh, raised letter, metal letter, that's uh, probably a uh, cast letter uh, from aluminum. Um, what I intend to do is take that down, seal up the holes so it matches the concrete, and uh, redrill it and put in new letters, which are actually going to be uh, lower profile. Right now they have approximately like a one inch return. These will be a quarter inch cut out aluminum letter, which will be painted with the reflex blue that you see in front of you. Uh, I just added that uh, coloring. These letters here are basically what you're, these are. That's, that's uh, essentially a um, cast letter as well, and probably made by the same company, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, there's a, a, generally, they're made by Gemini Letters out in Minnesota. Um, that's basically what I'm going to do, and it's the, the style lettering is similar in that I'm using a uh, Times Roman letter, uh, and it's like a quarter-inch plate. It has a stud that's TIG mounted to the back of each letter. Uh, actually, there's several, depending on the letter, uh, some letters have two, some have three, some has four. Um, and then the company, uh, Gemini, sends me a drill pattern that's set up on the wall so I know exactly where to drill so every stud has its own hole. And I fill the holes with um, a mounting adhesive, uh, usually a silicone sealing adhesive. 
uh, slide the letters in, tape them into place overnight. The next day I come back, take the tape down, they're solid. Nice. Mm. Good. Wow, yeah. good system. Yep. Is there it's, any lighting on that or just? Uh, just uh, from the, uh, you know, what's yeah. around the street lights. Okay. That's it. Okay, good. All right. You guys all right with that? Mm -hmm. Size is yes. 12 inches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the letter the paint 15. on it is. I'm sorry. A, the paint is a uh, one shot sign enamel, which is um, a lead based enamel. But since it's, I mean, it's, it's what's a, a standard used by the uh, mm -hmm. sign industry. So when you get them, you have to paint them then, right? No, they'll be painted already. They'll be painted. custom painted by that company. You just put them up. Just put them That's up. That's great. Yep. It's a nice color. It is. Yeah, so yeah. Nice reflex. Is blue. the color. No, I just it, handed you this that, one. That's the reflex blue that's circled. Okay, that's not the usual. That's not really reflex blue, though, right? I mean, that's what they call it. Oh, <laughs> I mean, there says chevron, but well, yes, chevron. Oh, well, here the reflex blue on my on my yeah, PMS chart. It. Reflex is more like this in PMS, right? There's so, reflex blue. I, I just want to see. I thought I gave you the other chart. That's the metal for the sign. That's okay. Like okay. 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 Something. There's something up there. So good. I thought like pretty reflex, close. Reflex blue is closer to. Yeah, it's close. Yeah. It's very difficult to get these from the sign company because they say, "Oh, we only have a few left." Well, they're probably it's so expensive to make. Yeah. <laughs> right, I want to put this so that okay. people uh, actually you can have if you it back. No, that's right. You put some of the larger oh, plans. Right. They might come in handy <clears throat> at a later date for you for something. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I'm going to have some notes online. Give what? what? They, they can lay it on the table so people don't oh, have yeah, to Oh, yeah, here you go. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. I think mine are marked up. Then, so. <clears throat> this, this is not. Okay, so our, and, the, and the sign is under 15 feet from grade, correct? Yes. It's like 13 and change, I think. Right. Okay. All right, you guys are okay with over the door then? Yeah, just I am. To the peak of the roof is actually 20 feet, 20 and a half feet. So that's, you can see, it's considerably a lot less. Okay. I think the scale works well. I'm sorry, what's that? I think the scale works well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, it does. It really does. Okay, great. All right. You know, aesthetically, if I look at it, I have a lot of experience. The mainline design center, the lettering is kind of crowded. If you went to a slightly smaller letter with a little more air in there, I think it would be, you get more impact. Um, Maxing out letter size isn't always the answer. Okay. Uh, it's the perception of well, the sign. Well, the problem I have with that is that the letters from Gemini, when you have them pre-cut, they offer them in increments of 8, 10, or, no, no, 6, 8, 10, 12. So I'd have to go down to a 10-inch letter if you're asking me to do that. You wouldn't regret it, believe me. I don't think it's going to look as crap. It's not going to look as crap. I think yeah. sometimes when you see all the lines and things, it can look more if you just picture it clean with yeah. the size letters you and guys also, have, I oh, think. my mistake. And this, these letters here yeah. are brown because originally the letters up there are bronze colors, so I mixed that up, and they're actually mm -hmm. going to be blue. Yes. I mean, I think with the peak of the roof and that high roof it's line, a big building. that actually, yeah. the scale <clears> works, <throat> I think. Yeah, I think it's going to be fine just the way it is. All right, it stays within the parameters of the size requirements. Yep. Um, now, Bob had mentioned to me earlier that uh, the lettering over the, each window, uh, he thought, might be able to be shrunk a little bit, and I think he might be right there. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree with that. Yeah, I, I think, think that competes a little. The overpowers the sign above it. Right. right. So I think, if anything, I would go down in size there. Yeah, one mm -hmm. or the other. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's just, I would rather yeah. go down in size for the vinyl letters, because that's easier to do, right. number one. Yes. That would look better, I think. And this way, I can still, a good white letter against a, a dark background is very visible from the street. Mm -hmm. Right. And we're talking about, like, a visibility of no more than 25, 30 feet. Mm -hmm. by cars driving by, and if I go to a 10-inch letter there, that's no problem at all. I, I agree. And if you gave it a little space so that you, sure. you know, sure. above it a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I think the <coughs> furniture word overpowers the mainline design. Yes. Right. So I think I can alleviate the problem that way. And the other thing is you're, you're close to your maximum I mean, square footage. Like, right. you know, yeah. The signs you kind of put up for going out of business or something, and you know, make them yeah. as big as you can. But I think um, 
Well, hopefully, I think we don't have to pull those smaller letters. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. We will have smaller letters. But they're yeah. allowed to have smaller letters. Window, right? Yes. Yeah. You yeah. are regret so it, believe me. Yeah, but they're totally yeah, square footage when you add everything right. up. I agree. They're, they're, getting, they're going to get a little close. Okay. So you're saying you're looking at 16 the way you mocked it up and maybe going down to 10? Uh, I, I would say 10 is even plenty big. Plenty. Well, the height of the vinyl behind the blue is 16.88 inches. Oh, uh, okay. The I'm letter itself is only 12 inches. So what would you reduce? I would reduce that to 10 inches yeah. and go from the 16, take that off uh, probably another two inches. So I can get that down to 14 and a half inches. Mm -hmm. So oh, you're actually yeah. going to put a blue backing behind it. Oh, yeah. I don't know if yes, you just so mocked that up that. for the uh, right. no, this for is us. A okay. Blue backing. For, uh, mm -hmm. Well, it will be white letters on the, on the glass and uh, in reverse cut so that it's adhesed in the inside of the glass mm -hmm. and then a blue backing behind that. And that will also be vinyl and it will be seamless. Yeah, yeah. That that'll look nice. It's a big building. You have a lot of space to cover. Yeah. And it looks, it matches <clears throat> the mosaics that are there, which are really, mm -hmm. that's nice. I think it'll look, I think it'll look good. Brian, can I just, uh, can you just calculate that out and see how much that's going to be with the new? So you're saying the, the blue is going to be, yeah. I would say the blue can be 14 and a half inches high, and it's uh, 128 inches long. Okay, times three. Like I say, you're getting close to your total square footage when we add everything up. Yeah. Okay. So here, I'm going down in size. Do so now I'm, I'm coming well, within the range ten feet you need to be. Okay. What's the size of the windows? Well, he's, he's fine it's with the 20%. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, but when we add okay. this in this. Here's a suggestion. You know, uh, Are you counting that as Jared size? just said, yeah, let's, go to, let's go to 12 inches high for the blue mm -hmm. and 10 inches high for the white. For the lettering. Yeah, for the lettering. Right. So that'll give us an inch of height of, of blue top and bottom on the lettering. Okay. So you're talking about 12 inches high for, you want to know the area of the blue. Yeah, the square the footage blue. of each. Square footage of the blue would be, yeah. so we're looking at 30 inches, uh, 30, 30 uh, square feet total. No, yes. It's 10 feet, 8 inches. Each one. So we're looking at 32 feet. So we're looking at 32 square feet just for the blue vinyl total. So we, I mean, we, we could probably just box the, uh, the lettering itself mm -hmm. and not count the extra couple inches on, right. the, uh, on the blue background. Mm -hmm. So if you just want to block just for lettering only, 10-inch ten, ten letters? 10-inch letters. 10-inch letters, ten letters ten, by... 10 feet. By well, no, they don't go to 10 feet. Yeah. They go under 10 feet because there's some space on either end. So. Yeah. Want to say 8 feet? Uh, I, I would say uh, 9 feet at the most. Okay. Yeah. We'll just, we'll, we'll yeah, just need that number when we add everything up at the end. So. It's about 24 square feet. Total for all three? Total for all three. It's about okay. square feet per. Yeah. Yeah, before you were like a little over 10, so, okay. So that comes within the... Okay, all right. Okay, so we're all, all right on the windows then, right? Mm -hmm. You guys mm -hmm. okay? You guys all right with that? All right, yeah. also Jared? Jared? Yeah. Right. in the uh, oval for the 211 we're going to add. Mm -hmm. right to and you're going to put that as we see it? Well, that I think is a throw. That's a, yeah, that's a yeah. freebie. Yeah, that's yeah. a throw. Yeah. Right. What did you say the total square on that was? 24 for the three windows. I don't think we have to count the address. No, no, no. no. Okay. Yeah, because you need an address yeah. anyway. No, right. don't count that yet. Okay, and we're taking down the canopy. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's a canopy there that someone had scrawled a D next to rugs, and it says <laughs> Oriental Drugs. Oh, gosh. We're not selling Oriental <laughs> Drugs. <laughs> are we? Good to know. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, right. okay, so, good. Rather than trying to repair it or replace it, we're just going to remove it. Do you and think you'll have to do, oh, good, that's what I was going to ask you. you, think there'll be some repair work to the building when you take that down? Yes, any, any holes <clears throat> yeah. that are still there, I have all the stuff that I have to use to smooth it in, color it perfectly so you don't even know it was ever Great. Right. That's good. All right, um, the side of the building, <coughs> it's got some existing lettering. The oriental yes. rugs here. Yeah. Right. Now, those are also cut out metal letters. Yeah. I mean, they're not actually cut out. I think they're formed because they are hollow. I went up there with them. And, and hit them, they sound hollow. So it's some sort of a formed letter, uh, probably made by Gemini, mm -hmm. and uh, it's fitted together. Uh, I'm going to probably fasten it a little better because there's one letter that's a little off kilter there, uh, but I want to uh, repaint them the same color blue, the reflex blue. So that looks good. Mm -hmm. okay. That looked good. All right. Just, just get a little closer oh, to my Thanks. I have, yeah. I bellow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, 
one other thing I don't have, I don't think I included it in all this, but there's wooden trim on each peak mm -hmm. that's about four inches wide that goes, it's just the, 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 the wooden trim that is in horrible condition. The paint is peeling, it's old, and I'm just going to scrape it clean, sand it, and put in the same reflex blue. So right. it all blends. I want the whole thing. Oh, wait, so this, I must, there must be another, in the peak here? In that peak. This is shows better. Yeah. Okay. So just in that, here. Yeah, that green that you see up in there. Yeah, that's now going to be. Oh, yep. That's horrible. Okay. okay, so it's going to be that yeah. bright blue. Right. It's going to be that bright blue. Okay. All three of them. All right. So we're good. Three. We're good. Pretty bold. Okay. Yeah. All three of them. Okay. The existing pole sign. Okay. The existing pole sign, uh, the logo that we have there, um, we haven't totally decided on the final logo, but Jared decided that we can go with this for the time being and at least get something up there, get the old one down, mm -hmm. get a new one up. And, uh, I'm going to paint the pole, we finish that because it's rusty, mm -hmm. it needs to be cleaned up a bit. There's existing lights that I don't have to touch, they're working order, mm -hmm. they're high, high output uh, flood, uh, fluorescence. Um, the sign that's up there now is a very heavy wooden sign that has raised carved letters on it that are gold leaf. I'm going to change that to a um, material called Omega Luster Board, which is a, uh, a sign board made from a mahogany plywood made for outdoor use. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Made for outdoor use, uh, mahogany plywood, and it has a uh, overlayment of aluminum on both sides, and it'll have... Um, there's, I added this Illuminate supply. The chevron blue is close to the re reflex blue, but if it's not exact and we want to do it exact, what I'll do is just use white Illuminate and cover it with the vinyl, Okay. Mm -hmm. the, okay. the proper color vinyl. It looks really close, though. Yeah, I, I know. It's I really this close. Pretty close. So this way, <laughs> I wouldn't have a double surface. I would just have a single surface of white vinyl lettering, mm -hmm. okay? Um, <coughs> I've, I'm a logo designer, so I've designed, I don't know, maybe 35 different logos for this fella here. Mm -hmm. And get this guy together with the guy he'll, he'll get to the point where he likes something. <laughs> <laughs> We're close here, okay? Mm -hmm. So if we can go with this initially, we might not use the furniture, interior design, fine art, and Oriental rugs on the sign. We might just center that logo and just have it stand on its own mainline design center. I like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And because um, you have it on the building, uh, yeah, we have it on the building, so uh, we don't really need to, you know, keep sticking in people's mm -hmm. face. I think right. it would actually look good without it. Yeah, yeah. this would simplify it because it's kind of. And there now busy. this sign yeah. here, even though we're grandfathered in for a six foot by four foot sign, which mm -hmm. that's what's up there now, and I have this designed as a six foot by four foot. I'm not quite sure how that's going to look centered on a six foot by four foot sign. So there's a possibility I might want to go a little bit smaller, if that's okay. No, sure. So, you, so you're saying it's, it's six by four, so that's another 24 square feet then, right? Yeah, okay. two-sided swing sign. And uh, there's hardware there, but I'm gonna to add to that hardware when I put this sign up, I use a uh, professional cleat that's used for swing signs that are uh, uh, for a uh, three-quarter inch board. Um, it's an aluminum holder, hanger, uh, that's precast and it's drilled and everything. And then I use um, uh, carabiners. Mm -hmm. You, you know it can't swing though, right? It, it has to be swing. fixed. Oh, it can't swing it in the air? Be, no. Yeah. It, it can look sign. like it swings, it's but it can't be the swing. It's the same sign. He's it's, remaking the There's a sign, sign. It, there that it swings. It doesn't matter. Yeah, that, it, it has, it, yeah, there's no like grandfathering into yeah. things yeah. that if the code is changed. I don't know what the code was when that went up, but. The code was no. there in place. It was in place? Yeah. Well, there's, yeah. yeah. We have no yeah. swing yeah. sign. Yeah. That was it doesn't an, swing. There was an issue with it, that sign. It's so heavy, it doesn't swing. Oh, okay. So, well, it has to be fixed. It can look like it swings, but it just has to be fixed. Okay, well, I can make it a fixed sign. That's not a problem. Yeah. Okay. Tied to the. Pole. Yeah, I'll just have mm -hmm. a, a, a another clasp coming yeah. down the other side yeah. and just bolt them great. together. Okay. Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, and if a good wind comes along and takes everything down with it, it's on you guys. 
I know. I, I've wondered about Cindy that. Cindy Ritz. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I need that on me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> how many square feet are we up to in signage now? Well, is, that, the, is the pole separate? No, the poles the pole has the to be added in. Part of the inquiry you're allowed, the again, equation. 25 square feet, and you're coming in at 24 in your pole sign, so you're okay with that? Sure. Okay. So they got 24 in the pole, 24 windows, uh, the, the two lines together, mainline design center, pin mounted letters, are 20. 20, and the only thing we didn't calculate out is the sign on the, the, sign on the side of the building, where you're on the rugs. Which is existing, and I'm just refinishing it. I'm not adding 48 to that so side. We're, we're at 68, it and they're allowed 116. So we're yes, you have plenty of you have plenty of room to work with to okay, leave good. that. You, you, right. As long as that oh. sign on the side of the building isn't larger than 48 square feet, which I'm sure it's not. I don't not. think it could be. He's I don't fine. know what no, that the, window they said is. The yeah, yeah. He's, he's fine. It's going to say 211E also. Oh, okay. We'll have the 211 That's a good idea that's, with the yeah. E. Yeah. People get yeah. mixed up all the time. People never can tell, but that's not part of your – we won't count that. Yeah. Okay. If I guess on the uh, the pole sign, if you change your logo, or yeah. you're gonna have to come back before oh, us. That. Yeah. Okay. Right. All right. But if you go with this design, mm -hmm. we're okay with that. Okay. So, but if you change it radically, you're gonna have to come back for approval. Right. If I now, when you say radically, I'm glad you mentioned that. Mm -hmm. I was suggesting to Jared uh, just before that if I take th each letter individually that's on there. Keep the circles and the squares. The, it's like a, 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 a Da Vinci type of letter, the way it's designed, as if you know it shows how the letter is made. But take the letter out and add to the letter something like a drop shadow that gives it height. Um, to make He's shaking his head. Huh? No. You're shaking your head? <laughs> I guess we're not going to do that. I like, I, like the, I like that for temper. OK, fine. Yeah. We'll leave it right where it is. Just okay. center. Never mind. <laughs> One thing I would think about, I mean, just to, for food for thought, but it is a sidewalk sign, and there are people that they would notice the sidewalk sign and they wouldn't necessarily be looking at the building. Right. I might think about just using the, the logo, you know, it, where it is, basically. Yeah. Just eliminating mainline design center, just to simplify, just to, like, have you focus on the logo, but keep that right column. Really? What, Okay. With the furniture, just because. So MLDC keep, knock out mainline I, design center. Keep keep the the logo, but not the lettering above that says mainline, and not the yes. design center. Just have the logo be the logo. Right. Just keep it a little simpler. Just the logo be the logo, right where it is, uh -huh. exactly the same, the same proportion, but still on the right side list what it is. Because yeah, I like that. Then people identify the logo with. Mm -hmm. What, what you provide, what and they're and seriously, there will be people that they drive by and they yeah, see okay. the sidewalk sign and they don't see the building. Right. So it becomes your well, brand. You know? Yeah, it's your brand, and it and it simplifies that MLDC. Well, okay. the, the the one issue we have is, is that what can you advertise on your, what? Yeah, we're we're limited to oh. the the name of the business. Oh, right. yeah, it's be uh, like a restaurant putting up uh, pizzas, hoagies, sandwiches. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, we're somewhat limited oh, okay. to what they can. I mean, we we usually. Give people a, a, a byline and such, um, but yeah, it's it, it, it gives, becomes a gray area then when you okay. start. Yeah, so I know. Never that mind. Knocks that idea out. <laughs> so wait a minute. Okay. Yeah. So what are you saying? They pretty much almost have to just keep the mainline design center logo on there. Okay. So uh, are you saying they need to delete? They can't. Un just unfortunately, put the logo? they're going to have to or. I, I, can, right, it's a, kind of a gray area. I mean, what what could they do as far as a, a, a byline? Yeah. We, okay. they're, they're, the, by, the byline or their logo is the main line design center, the MLs, DC. We always are, you, the board has always stuck to, you can't advertise your goods mm -hmm. on the logo sign. Mm -hmm. And okay. it's not like they won't know what they're having to store with, well, because What's we have the there, window sign, right? Yeah. When they, they want to, someone wants to go to Jared's store, they want to go to the Mainline Design Center. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's really the logo. And uh, so if, I don't know, you space that out a little bit, make it a little bit, I don't know if you make it a little wider, maybe you do have yeah. to narrow the sign down a little bit to fit the logo. Mm -hmm. But that would be it. Yeah. All right. Okay. So 
Yeah. What, what do you think about taking, well, this is design, it's your thing, but in, um, instead of having the main line, the words main line design center on the top and bottom of the logo, get rid of the part that you're not allowed to have that, what, that tells where it goes, stacked put main line design center stacked to the right. I like You'd that. You'd notice yeah. it more. Yeah. I like that. And maybe okay. flush left or flush right on that main instead of. Main line design center. Because you kind of yeah. lose yeah, I like main that. line design center. Okay. I like that a lot. Yeah. 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 I like that. Good. You want a, you want a job designing <laughs> My past life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So the board would be okay with that change, correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah, would, we yeah, would yeah. ask you uh, to submit at least uh, a, a cleaned up version of what it's going to look like to the townships that I'll have in your file. Sure. No problem. Okay. All right, but, but again, we have to if, wait for another meeting for that. No, but if you make it a drastic change, yeah, you know, color or, or yeah, a whole I'll, different I'll style, in, you're gonna have to come back. I'll bring in, you know, just this section. Yeah. To show you what it looks like. Okay. 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 All right. Any other questions for us, guys? The three. Oh, stained the three stained glass circles on each peak. Mm -hmm. um, the wood that's surrounding them right now is pretty old, even though it's oak. It's rotting. Mm -hmm. It's falling apart. I would like to take those out, redo the wood, put it back, paint it the same color blue. Uh, the uh, ac acrylic over top of it is um, kind of faded, frosted. I want to replace that with a, a, a brand new acrylic mm -hmm. so it's nice and clear. The stained glass behind it is lit probably with regular light bulbs mm -hmm. and there's a framework of wood inside. I want to remove them, clean them up, fix anything that needs fixing on the stained glass, and replace the lighting with LED lighting. I had no idea of stained glass. I thought it was mosaic. Oh, no. It's beautiful uh, leaded stained glass, wow. each one. Cool. They light up and they light mm -hmm. up behind them, and they look beautiful when they're lit. But I think the LED lighting, number one, would be less heat, less... Mm -hmm. less well, we uh, had no problem with any yeah, of that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's all changes for the better, so mm -hmm. we're, yeah, we're fine. Yeah, that's good. We're fine. Okay, yeah. fine. Yeah. All right. Okay. So that's it. Just just a couple s small things to mention. Uh, I think you have a current parking sign out there. It's pretty ratty looking. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would think you're going to make a new parking no yes, parking I'm sign. Yes, I'm going to be making custom signs. Yeah, just specify, small, tasteful. Yeah. Yeah. That'll specify mainline design center okay. logo and everything on it. Okay. And uh, even though you see some around town, Jared, sandwich boards like the A-frames, yeah. they're not allowed. Oh. And so I don't spend the money. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to waste your money. Yeah, you just lost the job. Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't even try okay. that yet. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's a, it's a big property. I don't know if there's any plannings out there now, flower boxes or plannings. There are. There are okay. two. There's okay, just to make sure they're not blocking anything. Stone. They're right by the front door. And Sprinkler the system, the door, hookups or anything like that. Yeah, they're okay. out of the way of the door. Okay, good. No uh, harming the egress or. Okay. Anything. Okay. Right. Is your is the business in operation now? Or are you waiting no. and when are you hoping? Um, in two weeks, probably. Well, two weeks. Good. We need uh, a fire alarm system and yes. a certificate of occupancy mm -hmm. and signs. I keep looking in. <laughs> Looks interesting. Yeah. Well, you have your temporary <laughs> banner up, correct? Yes. I right. put okay. that up already. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. And I didn't have to do any drilling for that. <laughs> I used bungee cords and I attached it to. The hooks on the bungee cords I wedged into the concrete crevices. <coughs> <coughs> good. So Great. Really good. All right. It's going to look good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's going to look real good. Nice I think colors, so too. and I think it's really going to jump. It's nice to have the building open again. Yeah. yeah. Really. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. Good. And you, you did come in below your square footage. So what you're in good shape that way. He's, he's allowed uh, 116 square feet of square footage. Great. 58 yeah. times two. Yeah. So, and. Uh, Okay. Any other questions for us, guys? You all right? The yeah. board, any other questions for the applicants? No. 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 Brian, you want to take this one? <coughs> yeah, I don't think there were any. I think it's pretty straightforward, right? We're just approving. Well, we... Uh, Reduce the signage in the window, yeah. oh. the height of the letters in the window. Jeez, there's Other a lot. Other than that. Okay. And, and the change, oh, and in the, change uh, on the pole sign. Pole sign. Yeah, and, and you need a fresh <coughs> copy. Yeah. Yeah. Right, uh, I'll let Brian make it. And we're going to paint, I'm going to repaint the pole. Yeah. Okay. Matter of DRB 2015-14 Mainline Design Center. Um, move that we approve the submission with changes to the window signage. The letters will now be 10 inch. The height of the blue background field will be 12. And the, um, the post sign 
will um, the only letter the only words on it will be mainline design center it won't advertise uh, what what's for sale gotcha okay good do we hear a second second okay all in favor aye aye, aye. thank you okay good thank thanks Rick. Thank Jared good luck to you yeah okay thanks take care okay Oh, you know what? Thanks. Would you like to have these back? Because they might be uh, useful for I another mean, permission. Perm since I had to uh, uh, harass my sergeant's uh, supplier to get them, and I know you're always looking at this stuff, so I might have to use them some other time. Okay, I don't, we don't mind giving them back? Okay. You could, if you want to keep them in your, uh, your things. He has enough paper. Own. Okay, <laughs> thank you. All right. Jared, Jared. Jared. No, this is that you? Oh, no, that's Benjamin Tarani, he owns the building. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bungie doesn't look that old. Come on. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Okay, I think everybody's got these, right? Yeah, this? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So we have uh, number four on our agenda tonight is, is old business, and it's the application of the Barnet Valley Forge Flowers. Uh, their application ended up going to the zoning hearing board and they were granted some relief for two projecting signs. Okay, so I think you guys should all have some paperwork here with the order from the zoning hearing board. The issue was the height of the signs? Well, the, the issue was um, there are projecting signs which aren't really allowed in that uh, part of Wayne. They're only allowed in the Wayne Business Overlay District. Uh, we know they would look good on the building. It would kind of fit the look of the barn. So they went to the zoning hearing board and uh, they were granted some relief. So they're coming back to us tonight and we just need to make sure that everything is basically copacetic with what the zoning hearing board uh, recommended. There are some exceptions at the bottom and um, so we'll talk about it a little bit. So. Yes, excuse me. Yeah, no problem at all. We're fine. Thanks, Tony. And we'll see you in two months. Yeah. Okay. Oh. All right. Bye, Tony. Okay. Okay, so this was uh, original application was DRB 2014-55, property address 503 West Lancaster Avenue in Wayne, Eagle Village Shops. So mm -hmm. uh, the Barn of Valley Forge Flowers. So representing the barn tonight is... I'm Chuck Longacre with City Sign Company. Nice to have you here. And, uh, I was here the other month. Let's, I, this is probably too big for your... Yeah, I'll leave a little one on there. Okay, Chuck. Uh, using an easel for this. Okay. So I know these signs were done by uh, the architect, I believe, designed by the architect. Yeah, the original design was by yeah. them, and then uh, these drawings are... You know, we, took the, they, we take their design and put the mechanics to it. Right. <clears throat> okay, it so great. yeah, it's gonna look great. Let's just, really great. yeah, mm -hmm. if you could show us on the building the placement of the two signs, sure. You're allowed uh, the two signs, but they have to be on two different right. walls, so they can't be on the same wall. Uh, on the page here. Well, on this on this page, you can see there are the two, one on the silo and one on the side of the building. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And then. Uh, these are the two separate elevations here, the silo over the entrance and then on the side of the building. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, the signs are identical. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Both the same. Okay. So they, they are illuminated by goosenecks? Yes. Okay. Next are illuminated. By okay. Goosenecks. And that's one thing, like, under the code of the Wayne Business Overlay District, you're not, uh, not allowed to illuminate a projecting sign, but again, they were granted relief to do illumination on mm -hmm. this property. And also, they, they've exceeded the square footage requirements under the Wayne Business Overlay District, but again, they were granted relief for that. And they were granted relief for, uh, I believe, some heights also on that. Yeah, for the 15-foot 15, 15 heights to the top. Right, mm -hmm. right. So there were some of the key things that uh, zoning uh, basically let them have. So, okay. The materials on those signs are? The, the frame itself is actually... It's made to look like wrought iron, but it's actually aluminum. And then um, the, the faces of the sign is actually a PVC. Okay, good. Which is painted. The, and it's the same materials that we used for their, when we built the sign for their other shop right across the parking lot. Mm -hmm. I have some samples of that material with me if you wanted to see it. If you have it, we'll take a look. Yeah, if it's not a problem.
Um, Building came out nicely. Oh, it's, oh, it's beautiful. beautiful. It yeah. Good. And the scales, the signs are an appropriate scale yeah. for this the building. It's, yeah. it's big. Yeah. Have you guys been in it? Yeah. Not yet. Yeah. That's, that's the sign from the original shop. Oh, yeah. It's all the same colors. Now, the, the, uh, the new signs that you're putting up, do they have any dimension or are you just completely flat? No, they do have dimension. Oh, good. There's a dimension. Yes. Here's the, this is, that's PVC. Yeah. Nice, isn't it? Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah, it's going to look great. This is the raw material, and then this is this the white one that's painted. So it yeah. tells a little bit of texture to the edge. Mm -hmm. yeah, they're going to look great. Great, okay. I Good. like that. They're pretty much going to last. They're not going to rot, they're not going to mm -hmm. fall off. They're, 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 they're both PVC? They're, they're pin mounted. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're both those. That's PVC, did you say? Yes. Both? Wow. Yep. Okay, good. Great. And this was the, this was the color palette. Mm hmm Yeah. I believe I had these before. It's okay. nothing not to no, like about it's, it. The whole thing looks good. Yeah. I mean, the barn itself is almost an advertisement to itself. You know, yeah. it's yeah, very, very it's unique. And mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Could yeah, Bob? Yes. Excuse me. Could we put any of that up so? Yeah, definitely. Everybody at home just hears mumbling and sees your back. So I want to try to get. <laughs> okay. Samples of letters. Painted, unpainted, and the color palette of the sign. That same colors, same exact colors as their other. Okay, good. All right, so they're they're really in, in pretty good shape. There's uh, they've met pretty much all the requirements. I, the only thing that the, the two things that I would uh, just mention again, you heard it from the prior application. The signs can't swing. Yes. Yeah, these are fixed. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so that you have to adhere to yep. according to code, and um, and the other thing was only one projecting sign per side of the building and you're right. you're fine with that. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty much all the requirements of the zoning hearing board you, you've met then. And uh, yeah. These are the exact same drawings that I presented right, earlier. Right. There's, there's been no change. You guys have any questions? For, it's okay, Chuck, right? Looking. Chuck looks great. Yeah. Are those the size letters that they're a little, they're, those are No, just they're just a sample. A little bigger. Yeah, I thought they yeah. might not, okay. Brian, you're okay with that? Yeah, I think it looks good. Okay. All right. And Ray, you're okay with, with the application? Okay. All right. Any questions for us or the board? No. Okay. No. All right. Very good. Thank you. Uh, who wants to take this one? You, Cindy, you had two. At least you want to take this one? Sure. You had, what, one or two so far? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, in the matter of DRB, I don't have the. Other it's, uh, it's, it's, DRB 2014-55. Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't have that. 2014-55, you said? Oh, there it is, I'm sorry. In the matter of DRB 2014-55, um, the signage which was um, submitted to the um, zoning approval board and, and approved, I move that we approve the signages presented tonight. Okay, do we have a second? Second. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Great, yeah, thanks, Jack. Nice Thank that. you. Appreciate nice that. Thank finished, you. you know? Yeah. Okay. Um, any other business for our board tonight? We're okay? All right. Okay, if that's, if that's all we have, see yeah, you next good. month. All right.